Hello world, Shelly here, and it's another episode of Concealer Fest. Today I'm going to check out the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Sealer Concealer. This retails for $26. You get 0.34 fluid ounces of product. It's exclusive to Sephora. They make 12 different shades of this from a fair end to a pretty deep end on the spectrum. I have this in the second lightest shade, Fair Light. This is described as a lightweight 12 hour concealing serum with skin soothing benefits with medium buildable coverage. It is vegan and Tarte is cruelty free. It hydrates skin because it is a combination hybrid concealer and tinted moisturizer. It has concentrated pigments to hide redness, blemishes, and dark circles, medium buildable coverage. It's got antioxidant rich algae to help soothe and illuminate no parabens, no phthalates vegan and dermatologist tested. It's currently getting about four out of five stars with a thousand reviews on Sephora's website. Now I've already got my base on. I have generally dry under eyes and they get crepey as they get dehydrated. I do have fine lines under my eyes that product likes to settle into. So that is what I am combating with my concealer. So let's take a look at this shade Fair Light swatched against a few other concealers in my collection. Let's swatch concealers. First up is today's concealer, the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Sealer in the shade Fair Light. Second, I've got the Josie Marin Vibrancy Concealer in shade Fair. Third is the Ilia True Skin Serum Foundation in shade Chicory. Fourth is the Tarte Shape Tape in shade Fair. And last, I've got the Too Faced Born This Way in shade Very Fair, which is about the same lightness to darkness or even a little darker than fair light in the Tarte. You know, Too Faced just makes me laugh. They're, they're just really funny with their shades. That is not very fair in my humble opinion. I've already done my skincare and today I added the Caudalie Premier Crew Eye Cream, which does a really nice job of smoothing the under eye area. I love this stuff and already have my base on. I'm testing out the NYX Bear With Me tinted skin veil foundation today. So let's take a look at the Tarte. Now we have a giant doe foot applicator, very similar to the shape tape style of applicator. I did not dampen my sponge. I'll start out with a sponge. This is a dampened Real Techniques Miracle Complexion sponge. That blended out super easily and looks beautiful at a glance. In terms of level of coverage, I'd say it's light with one pass. I think there's a hair on my eyelash. Let's see, they say medium buildable. Let's see if we can just build up a little bit where I'm the most purple. Right there. This does have a very serum-like consistency. I'm gonna try fingers. There is a giant fuzzy. Oh, there's fuzzies everywhere. The joy of living with four cats. Blends out nicely with fingertips as well, and I do think that built up the coverage a bit. I'm just going to tap out, make sure I don't have any excess product. So far, so good. That is beautiful. Let's try a brush for this side. I'm using the Morphe M173. I can't find, Sephora has a pro brush, a Sephora pro concealer brush, and I can't find it, and I love it. And it's, a, it's beautiful, it's been in my favorites, and I don't know where it is. It hasn't survived the move. I think that blended out beautifully with the brush as well. I think I got slightly better coverage with the brush and just one pass. I'm gonna do one more little dab just to try to get both sides matching. 
That looks really nice, and so far no settling into lines. Looks very smooth. Let's check the time. It is 321. I'm gonna go put the rest of my face on. I'll be right back. So far so good. No trouble blending out the Tarte Concealer whatsoever with the foundation. I ended up setting my foundation lightly with the Pacifica translucent powder and I took whatever was left on the brush at that point and set my concealer because the concealer was doing that thing where you have, if you have a fine line and it kind of separates along that line as it sets down. And for me, it tends to help setting when I've got a concealer that's acting like that. And that, you know, so I tapped it out with the sponge, then set it very, very, very lightly, minimal powder product, because I don't want it to get dry and crepey under my eyes. And that seemed to fix it. So, so far so good. On the rest of my face, I've got the Milani. This is the Silky Matte Bronzer in Sunkissed. The Elf Metallic Highlighter in White Gold. Doing the sort of light makeup makeup day. This is the Flower Beauty Blush Balm. And what is the shade of this guy? Pinched. And that was my face. My lip is the Milani Keep It Full. This is in the shade Almost Natural. And that is where we are starting out. I will be back tonight. We will see how this concealer wore. Almost forgot. On my eyes, I just did the bronzer in the crease trick and put on some Milani. This is the Hypnotic Lights Glitter Eye Topper in the shade Luster Light. 10.44 p.m. That puts us at seven-ish hours, seven and a half hours, something like that. Let's take a look at how the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Sealer held up. I have to say really well. I mean, aside from slight fading of coverage, I don't see any product settling into lines. I don't feel like my under eyes look dry or crepey. I think they look pretty good for the end of the day. They're not as smooth as they were in the morning because my skin is always just a little drier by the end of the day. And that's when the sort of creepiness comes out. But compared to how bad they can look, I really think this looks nice. It does have some skincare ingredients that will help your skin over time. So if I had to give a grade, to the aqua sealer, the rainforest of the sea aqua sealer, I'm gonna go A minus. I like it. I think it does better when it's lightly set. And in order to pull an A, you should probably be a concealer that doesn't need to be set in my world because that would be like the creme de la creme of best options for concealer. But if you are looking for a serum style, light to medium coverage concealer that isn't going to emphasize fine lines, is going to be hydrating under the under eye, especially if you've got dry under eye skin, I think this is worth a sample. Go get you some, try it out, and see if you like it. If you do, have you used this one? What do you think of it? Let me know in the comments down below. What concealers would you like to see me review? This Concealer Fest is a brand new series, and I'm gonna go through some of my archives of concealers that I use and love just so that we can have a formal record of the review. And I'm buying new concealers, so let me know what you would like to see, and I will review them in Concealer Fest. There you have it, another concealer fest in the books. That's a good one. I'm, I like good concealer. <laughs> they seem so rare in my world. <laughs> if you're enjoying this new series, give me a thumbs up down below. Please subscribe if you haven't already. It helps my channel to grow. And as always, thanks a lot for taking some time out of your day to geek out over makeup with me. Come back every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern time for new videos. And I hope you all have an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world. Take care of each other. Bye-bye.